Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Game of Thrones throne completely out of chocolate. So keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. So some of the things you're going to need to make this is you're going to need a printout of a Game of Thrones throne. And I just printed this out from online. Print it out to the size that you want to make your throne. Next, you're going to need some wax paper. And I cut the wax paper to be a little bigger than the cutout of our throne. I'm gonna put it on a cookie sheet just to make things easier. And one of the first things I'm gonna do is tape down our paper to the cookie sheet. Next, you wanna tape down your wax paper over top of your cutout. And you can use wax paper or you can use parchment paper. I find wax paper is a little easier to see through, so that's why I'm using that. And when that's all set up, next we need to melt down some chocolate. And you have a choice. You can use like a Hershey bar or any other chocolate bar, but if you do that, you're gonna to have to temper your chocolate first. If not, if you make this, you have to keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. Tempered chocolate, you can leave out without it just melting. Um, if you wanna to go to the easy route, you can use chocolate candy melts. Now, these are amazing and you can melt them down. You don't have to worry about tempering them. They're very easy to work with, so you can do that as well. Or you can use a combination of both. So I have my chocolate melted down, ready to go, and I have a cup here with a piping bag in it. This way, I find it a lot easier to fill a piping bag. Um, trying to hold it just makes a mess sometimes. So I'm just gonna pour our melted chocolate in there. And this is what it looks like in the piping bag. What I'm gonna do now is cut a small tip. I'm gonna to try to cut it as small as possible, but uh, large enough so that the chocolate will actually come out because we really gotta do some fine lines and the smaller the better. So cut a small tip here. And now we're just gonna trace around the outside. Now all we're gonna do right now is the back part of the throne. We will do the dimensions and bring it out later on. So just the back part, trace the outside. I'm right-handed, so let's do this. So here we go. Doesn't matter where you start. So after your outline's done, we're just gonna fill this in with the rest of the chocolate. To make things easier in the filling in, I'm just gonna take a spoon of my melted chocolate and pour in the middle here. And on the fine areas, you can use a toothpick and kind of spread your chocolate out more. Just give it a tap or two to level things out. Now we want this to dry completely and then we're gonna go over it with another coat. All right, so once it's hardened up, now we can go through and do a second coat. We're just gonna go right over top of those same lines we just drew. It just makes it thicker so when we stand it up, it's less likely to break. Now just let that harden up and that's the last stage of the back and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that our chocolate is firmed up nicely, uh, I pulled out the guide that I have, the little print picture, and what we're going to do is the chair part next. And it's not very big and we're going to use actual whole Hershey bars for this. So I'm using a glove now just so I don't touch the candy bar too much and we're going to cut this. Still don't want to touch it too much because the warmth will go through. And we just want to use a sawing motion and cut that right past the E. There we go. And we're going to make this a complete square. So on the other side, we'll do the same thing. So back to our melted chocolate now. What we're going to do is use this as the glue to hold on our Hershey bars. Now 
Now I'm gonna take one of these little middle pieces here and I'm gonna put it on here, but I'm not gonna go all the way up to the top. So I'm gonna go about there on that. Now let this harden up and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that the chair part is on, what we're gonna do is build out a front piece and two side pieces just to fill it up and to make it so that it can stand upright without falling over. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna move this aside. I'm gonna bring back our, our pitcher that we're gonna use as a guide. Put some more wax paper on top. There you go. All right, so now I let my chocolate harden up the couple pieces that I made. I also cut them and trimmed them a little bit just so they'll fit perfectly. So now what we gotta do is join them with our the remainder of our chair. So I'm gonna take these two little pieces here and I'm gonna put some chocolate on there all the way around pretty much. and join that up right like so. Now we're gonna put this one aside so that can harden up. Next we're gonna come back to our picture and we have our wax paper again. So now what I'm gonna do is draw the swords and do them in layers and let each layer harden up before I go into the next layer. So the first thing I'm gonna do, since we already did the top spokes, the top swords, uh, we're gonna do the smaller ones next. Let that dry, then we're gonna put another layer on top of that even though the other layer isn't quite dry yet, but we're gonna move on. I just moved it over and I'm gonna trace the next layer of swords. Okay, so we let our pieces harden up, and now what we're gonna do is join it to our chair. So let's come back to our chair. And I'm gonna start with this piece, then that piece, then this piece, and the rest I'm gonna do by hand. So this piece kinda goes in between, these little spikes will go in between the other spikes. That gives it a nice depth, and I'm just gonna fill in the sides uh, where there's other swords and stuff. We're gonna let that firm up before we move on to draw, draw the swords on the actual chair part. Now we're gonna stand this up and we're gonna draw where the person would sit on this throne. So I just find it probably would be easier if I stand it up carefully. And I'm just going to start right on the chair part and start drawing the swords. Let it fall over the edge. Okay, just let all that harden up before we move on to the next step. 
So what I have here now is this can, it is edible spray paint and we're gonna spray this in a silver. So when you spray it, just make sure you keep it back from it a little bit. You kind of want to just, just like you're spraying spray paint. Um, spray it, it is edible and hopefully it'll look good. Now after the silver has dried, I just have a bowl here and it just has a little bit of water in it. And I'm gonna sprinkle in, this is some gold edible dust. And what we're gonna try to do is, in the picture you can see, these are a little different color than the rest. So we're trying to um, make it gold or just a slight brush. And I'm using a food safe brush, paint brush. We're just gonna pour our dust, not all of it, some of it in to our water. And it's gonna work like paint. And we will paint the handle. Now it's time for the taste test and I'm going to skip this part because I don't have the heart to break into my chocolate Game of Thrones throne. Uh, the reason why is I am going to bring this to some friends tomorrow and they can dig away at it and have fun but I want them to see the whole thing intact before they go ahead and uh, dig away and eat it up. So I've had Hershey chocolate before anyway so uh, it's really good. I love it uh, but you know I know what it tastes like. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this Game of Thrones throne completely out of chocolate. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Also hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to get new videos all the time. Be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side I think you may enjoy. And until then, I'll see you next time.